It's your boy Touchline Truth, live from Mzanti, South Africa, one time. Cold summer. Understand, it's only love if it's real. My appeal to God, let my mama stop taking pills. Alcohol killing my brothers, but they drinking it still. Single shot, my double entendres, triple distilled. A wig from Brazil, and you paying the bill? That's what the shot Okay, what's up, bro? Uh, name is Kevin Mahoney. Cover Africa, you know, Cover Mondays. We do music, we write music, we produce and give you the best music content in the world, in Africa, wherever you are. So today's guest is Mr. Vest of the Year, Mr. Freshman of the Year, 2018, 2019, soon 18, 19 flow, Mr. Touchline in the building. So how are you doing, my boy? Good, man. Just keep on now with that. I'm done and grand, chili, and friendly, the skin tone is glowing. Oh, yeah, um, it's no season. No season. <laughs> the sunlight is not get, is, is not get, getting near me at this point. So, get up my dark dark. <laughs> yeah, I feel you, bro. Yeah, my boy. So, tell me, um, you know, we're having the lockdown now, COVID nineteen. So, what have you been busy with to, you know, keep your creativity flowing, to keep your mindset in the game, and the additional two weeks? How do you feel about that? Well, firstly, the, the additional two weeks, you know, yeah. I need to change the patience, bro. That's what I need to do. You know, I need half time, you know, because <laughs> uh, I haven't been in studio, you know. I've been, yeah. I've been at home this whole time, which has been a, a great thing. It, it's actually mm. been great. I, I've, I've, I've been enjoying it so much. I'm taught. But yeah. now I need to get back to recording music. I've, I've been writing music and I've been um, posting a lot of videos of me, you know. Yeah doing things and stuff so but now I think I just want to go back to my natural habitat man where I'm recording music and you know um that's why I need half time I need to at least change location because <laughs> I see that you've done uh quite a few challenges um the tissue challenge showing off your soccer skills showing us that uh if you because you you're a dancer rapper now you wanna go back to the field and be like, I can be everything. Touch line indeed. West Park thought that the first touch was clean. And then I was dancing and acting. But what made me practice this rap day? The game was match fixed and catfish. But I knew one man that back there. You know, when you wrote the Cold Summer Freestyle uh, for Fabulous, um, do you want to get noticed more overseas? I was basically just rolling a dice, you know? Um, um, yeah, because you just never know what can hit. So I'm the kind of person when I see something and I feel inspired, I'll, I'm I'm likely to to jump on it, you know. And yeah, man, as long as it's in line with my brand, I was like, hell, it, this guy wants us to rap, and I feel like we've got some rappers that can out rap them that side. So you know, I was like, let me let me let me let me do that, you know. And you know, it did a, it did a lot of things for me. I mean, like, it's crazy because. A lot of people from overseas hit me up also, you know, um, and yeah, it's been dope, but I think it got like really noticed here at home with like everybody, because it was trending at some point. And I was like, damn, that's not even what I expected it to do. I was just writing, you know, because it took me, it didn't even take me long to write that verse, you know, it was a very quick verse to write. So I thought maybe, it, it, I think things just happened the way they were supposed to happen with that freestyle. And I think more things will even come out of it. That's true, because what, what I've noticed is, for you, it doesn't matter whether you are a known rapper in South Africa. Like, you're probably, you know, top 10 most spoken rappers in the country right now. And to have you in your platform and be like, no, let me join this challenge. Let me show these guys that we can also rap this side. It's not yeah. only, you know, the few that they know. There's still touchline this side, holding it down for SA. Yeah. You didn't have that mindset of I'm a known rapper. Let me not do this challenge. Out to yeah. even again, you know, like the way that's that where your mindset exist. is. That doesn't exist. That can't exist. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not. I'm not afraid of like um, looking like. You know, I'm. 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 I'm not. I'm not here to to make it seem like. I'm. I'm on top, or you know, I'm too big for certain things. Because essentially, none yeah. of us are too big for certain. Uh, opportunities you know and um i don't i'm trying to i'm trying to do as much as i can with my career and if i see uh 
an opportunity. Hell, if I have to go on a on a on a you know an American show's live stream and and freestyle for recognition, you know, I'm likely to do it because you never know who you can get from those places. You know, you can can get like a fan or two, you know, just people that might vibe with you. And you can bring people closer to what we're doing, you know? Because I feel yeah. like we've got such great music this side. If we can stop trying to be like the people, that's, I think um, we can really show the people what we truly have as South African artists, African mm. artists in general, you know? So I think for me to do that freestyle was a no-brainer. I just heard the beat. I was like, okay, let's go. Let, let's just rap. And you never know, you know? That's true, because what I've noticed is overseas, um, take so much notice of African authentic musicians yeah. as well as the music part of it. So if you rap in the neck, they want to be like, shit, this guy can actually flip the script from English and then go the neck. You know, they want to, they're so fascinated about that, especially SA, because if you look at most of these YouTube channels, when they analyze South African music, there's your Caspers popping out, Nasty C, AKA, like the list goes on. So people yeah. are more, you know, like I think the world is looking at South Africa at this point. I don't want to lie. Like the world, as much as I see Nigeria and other, other countries, like we are the new taste buds, if I could put it, put it that way. Yeah, and we need, to, we need to leverage on that, you know. Uh, we need to realize that it's, 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 a, it's a superpower and we need to take it to the world. That's just what I believe. That's true because... If you look at the likes of Java, Shoma Josie, you know, they've done amazing things overseas. Nesty has just signed for Def Jam on, on his own. And from being an independent artist to doing great things like that. So on your end, in terms of, you know, the, the reach that you're trying to push for this year, what's, what's the plan for this year? Yeah, my plans have been shifting because of obviously all our plans shifted, right? Uh, we. Yeah. We, we, we perceived the year to go a certain way and we had planned for certain things. Like I had planned to do the quantum tour, which is my tour yeah. every, every, every month, you know, um, in different hoods. So obviously that's not going to happen anymore. And if it does happen, I don't see it happening as effectively as I wanted it to happen because I did one show then the lockdown came. So I couldn't even gain momentum with the show. So yeah. my plans have been changing. That was my big thing for the year. But right now, I feel like, you know what? Right now, it's, it's the digital era. It's the, it's the, you know, it's the internet stage or internet phase. And yeah. we can literally get, go anywhere with what we're doing. So I, I, I was like, why do I have to, why do I have to limit myself to, to these borders? Why not, why not also gun for, you know? Um, mm -hmm. the the other markets and I've been I've been talking to a few artists from the US now since I dropped that 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 freestyle uh, not really known guys but I'm willing to start from scratch you know um, I know that I jump on their song kill them on their song uh, they they play it for whoever and uh, now I've been heard by more people like on the other end, you know what I'm saying? And that's the power of collaboration and also the power of collaborating with people that are on the other side, you know, of your borders. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to do, to do the same thing with people from outside of, you know, South Africa, but also like in Africa, you know what I'm saying? And then I can go to Europe. I can go to the U.S. also because literally all it takes is for me to, to collaborate. You know, I don't have to fly to go do that. That's true, because the internet has, you know, made it easy for people to connect, especially during this lockdown uh, period, whereby you see there's live videos, interviews with, uh, you know, people overseas. There's also battles happening. And in regards to the communication part of it, it has made it easier for everybody to communicate to hear what South Africa has, the States, Europe, et cetera, despite the whole COVID lockdown thing. So when we go back to your journey, you know, you dropped your first mixtape soon, and then you had 18 and 19 flow, uh, 18, 2018 and 2019. So when you look at your growth, you know, are you happy with your growth, the numbers that you've been getting? 
and the the reactions you've been getting from people yeah i've been incredibly happy man um i always say with i come from you know a time or a place where i never used to get recognition at all you know yeah. and um for me to just be noticed and be part of the conversation now that's enough for me you know well it's not mm-hmm. enough cuz i want to do more but i'm i'm grateful for that you know um i'm very grateful for that and the numbers that i've been doing have been very generic you know i don't pay for numbers i don't pay for likes i don't pay for views it's very generic and it's 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 literally the kids from the township just bumping my music and i'm very happy with that you know um and my numbers are good you know i'm an independent artist i've got nobody backing me you know i'm doing i'm doing everything with me and my team yeah so it's just it's great it's like i couldn't have asked for anything better and i keep growing that way um and i'd rather be like that than to be an overnight sensation and find myself lost you know because i've i've spent so much time outside of the game that i've got to mm-hmm. to learn you know from other people's mistakes also so by the time I'm, i came in i was like okay cool this is what you guys didn't do or this is what you guys did i'm just going to try to do the opposite and if you guys did it well i'm going to try to you know build on top of what you guys have done so you know it, it's just a message for, for for all the kids out there you know you you got to allow yourself to grow gradually you can't um you can't wait for your life to change you need to change it step by step one day at a time you know and you think it's now i mean i you know mr namala and she try to find a new a new thing that that that's going to shake the world because that that's what and i will find it pardon I, and i will find it most definitely i feel i feel like you you know in terms of you finding your niche you know you you they i mean whatever you drop it trends it gets the right numbers it gets the right responses and when you look at uh, your pe- the people that inspired you in the game you know because i know pro is a huge figure you know who 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 are the other rappers that actually inspired you to become the rapper that you are today as well as you know your media side who are those people that inspired you um Yeah, it was always pro uh back in the day it was pro Eminem, Kanye West. Um uh Questa too. And yeah, man, but you know from 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 a more PR side, you know, I always looked at like the guys like uh Casper and what what yeah. he's managed to to you know, he managed to be the first real like rap superstar you know and um a lot of it came from how he handles his business and how how great of um a marketer he is you know so i always looked at that and how he how he has how he handles his pr and i'm like that's pretty dope that's pretty dope you know um but yeah man you know i'm not uh entirely influenced by me. this year has been quite hectic for a lot of us you know we are on lockdown you know everything is just messed up in jay so your album are you still going to drop your album this year very good question man like i said we've had to reshuffle a lot of a lot of the plans so i need to assess the climate you know i need to assess everything that's happening around us but i do feel like i need to give people another project whether it's going to be ghetto kids ghetto kids is going to be the, the title of the album um whether it's going to be ghetto kids or if it's going yeah. to be something else i'm not really sure you know or i can give them both but you know it, it still needs a lot of planning and thinking i don't want to rush into anything i actually want to give myself the time to give people the great the greatest version of me that i can especially uh within a project you know so i can't be sure about ghetto kids dropping this year but i'd really really love for it to to drop this year i really would i feel i feel there's still time you know um despite everything else i feel like you still yeah. have people listening to you at this point in time like look at me i'm like yeah touch line i'm like i need to speak to this guy but the main point of having a structure and then you know everything is just messed up your album 
So let's say you already dropped your album. Were you gonna plan on touring, you know, South Africa only, or you wanna do gigs overseas and all that? Um, definitely would love to. Definitely would love to go everywhere that you know, as as far as I can with my music. Yeah. Um, but you know, being an independent artist, all those things, you know, are a little harder, you know. And I'm willing for. I'm willing to 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 break down certain things step by step, mm. you know, and to be able to, to go overseas eventually, but not rush it, not get into shady deals in order for that to happen, you know. Rather, I build my own, you know, economy that allows me to, to do all those things, you know. And that's, that's what being a boss means, you know. Um, <laughs> I think, uh, I think you, it's important for, for us as musicians to, to own the rights to our music, number one, you know, um, and, and just to own everything that has anything to do with your music. So, like I said, I would love to do all those things, but I'd love to do them on my own terms. Yeah. Cause you mentioned the whole independent artist part. So yeah, I must, you, let me just say this. So you left motherland. So you gone. Yeah. Yeah. I've been, been for like, it's, it's almost two years now. I'm, I think almost I'm, two I'm years. My second year. Yeah. That I've been away. Nakwana, you know, I, I wasn't signed there. I was, it, was a, it was a publishing deal. So, you know, yeah. it was, yeah. So it wasn't like, people, yeah, it wasn't like. Because people tend to mix, you know, a publishing deal with a, a proper record label deal whereby they give you everything. And I think yeah. that's what, you know, a lot of media personalities tend to mix up things. If they say Touchline is signed to this label, they don't actually break down the whole, you know, contract of or the partnership that Touchline has with a certain student, yeah. certain label. So yeah. as an indie artist, what has been, you know, your downfall as an indie or as well as uh, the good parts about an, being an indie, your own boss? Um, I mean, I can, I can, I can talk about the challenges. The challenges is, is, is definitely that you have to do things by yourself. So where, um, other artists would have, um, maybe a, a money pumped into them. You don't have that. But also the great, the greatest thing about being independent is that when the money does come through, you know, mm. it's, it's yours, you know, um, and you just control your narrative. You control what you want to drop. You control the kind of music that you want to make, you know. So those are the beautiful things about independent, I think, about being independent. Yeah, that's, that's super dope, eh? Because when I look at your journey, you know, three tapes in and your accolades, your partnerships, your gigs, like you, what's the biggest stage so far that you've performed it? You know, um, I know you did Back to the City, Castle Light, what's the biggest stage and are you planning on doing your own you know show i'm already doing my own show the quantum tour you know um yeah. there's also something called the hip-hop culture shock that i that i introduced last year um which was, which was also very very dope uh but i'd say back to the city was one of the the key the key moments in my career you know because it's always been a a place or a state a, a, an event that i wanted to perform at and I did, and it was one of the best performances that I've ever given. And it was it was great. Um, yeah, I, Castle Light Unlocked, Castle Light Unlocked is probably the the biggest um, in terms of just in terms of numbers. You know, uh, obviously it was the Post Malone show. I performed with DJ PH. Uh, it was pretty pretty lit. There's a few more. There's a lot of big stages that I've been on. You know, um, especially last year. In fact, everything happened last year. So uh, it was, it was very dope. Man. It was it was great. Yeah, because I think I saw your your back to the city performance last year. I was I was in the front. I was like, share. Like when I heard your name, I was just I just bumped everybody and pushed everybody aside because yeah. you know, not a lot of rappers nowadays are so into the whole you know classy rap. If I should you know define it that way. They just yeah. want to jump into this trap thing and think that tra trap will give them the numbers they want 
but you came in differently. You know, you're inspiring kids from EKRC, yeah. you telling stories, for, genuine stories from the hood, things that we, most of us, actually just, you know, grew on when we were growing up. And so how do you feel about inspiring kids in the hood? Like, that for me is, is, is one of the most important things uh, that I stand for, you know, uh, just being able to touch young lives, especially in the hood, because and I think I started, you know, obviously, I mean, it's not a secret. I, I looked up to Pro, and Pro made me feel very proud, from, like, of being in Tuanese So I took the same thing. I, I literally just took the same formula, and I was like, if I'm going to become something in life, I need to become something for the people. And, you know, if you listen to my music, it's not, it's not, it's, it, it's, a, it's about the people. It's, it's, it's less about me. It's, it's about the people, you know, and uh, that is what drives me. That's not even me as a musician. That's me. That is just me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's, that's just me as a human being. I'm driven to, to, to bring change like that. So, I think music just gave me an opportunity to be able to do that on a, on a broader scale. Now that's super dope, eh? So are you looking to sign anybody from, you know, your end? Are you looking to bring somebody up from your label? I think eventually I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do my part in that. But right now, I'm, I mean, I'm still trying to um, solidify myself, you know? Uh, I was watching an interview yesterday where Trey Songz was talking about how he passed on Drake, how he how he could have signed Drake, well, how Drake wanted Trey Songs to sign him. But Trey mm. Songs wasn't even Trey Songs yet. He wasn't even the Trey Songs that he wanted to be, you know? And um, it's the same thing with me, you know? I just, there's certain things that I still want to be able to, there are certain doors that I need to break down in order yeah. for me to walk into the, to the house with another human being, you know what I'm saying? I need to break those walls down first in order, like, before I can bring someone along with me, you know? And um, I'm gonna break those walls down, and when once I do, I'll be able to shine the light on new on ta- new talent. What I do now is I'm I'm always posting new talent. I'm always posting people that I think are great, you know. And um, that's as much as I can do right now because I don't have the 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 power to really do more. But yeah. eventually I will. And definitely putting on young talent. That's what we're doing with the Quantum Tour. You know, we gave like um, a lot of rappers the opportunity to jump on the Quantum Beat. We took five of them to the Quantum Tour. They performed, you know. And this is us without a budget. This is us just trying to, you know, bring change to an artist's life. That's me. That's you, 100%. Because I also love the name Quantum Tour. You know, like, it's a taxi. Yakiveli, Sanjay. Let's go, let's go on tour. So, like, it's... So, there was the whole... <laughs> so, you bring in new talent onto the Quantum Tour. Like, the teller dope. That's hella dope. Yeah. So yeah. at this point in time, what's your what's your next single? Um, there's something coming. It's called Skipping Church. Yeah. Uh, you should you should check that out. Um, I think it will drop in around three weeks. Um, yeah, Skipping Church. It's 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 a story of how we live as young people. You know what I'm saying? Where you know we just so caught up in in the hype of everything that we forget the fundamentals of of life and i think i reference church as one of those things because so many of us are taken to church from a young age and then the older we become we sort of drift away from that you know and i know I'm, I'm a i'm a i'm a culprit um i mean i just started skipping church because i was like always out on a saturday night and sunday morning i was like too tired you know so basic skipping church living the life and um i think it will be it will be a very introspective joint for many people. Like it, it, it will get them thinking. Um, mm-hmm. And yeah, that's the, that's the aim of that one. It's, but it's a beautiful song, man. I can't wait for people to hear it. That's like, that's, a, that's a, like the way you defined it. It's, it's so, you know, cause I'm, I'm one of those as well. You go out on a Saturday night, Sunday morning, you don't go to church, but my school, and they, you know, every Sunday, Sunday school, you know, yeah. graduate la person to any your mother is dragging you out of bed. So we miss I think that's why we miss most of us young people currently in society. And 
we need to go back to that because I want to be a father one day. I want to inspire my kids to go to church, to read books, to, you mm. know, as much as I'm not going to define their, their future and tell them to go be a doctor, they must become their own person. But customs are very important. But my boy, I appreciate the, you know, the chat, the interview. You know, I wish that it was longer. And I'm glad that Ghetto, I pray Ghetto Kids comes, comes out this year. I pray you drop it this year. <laughs> I hope so too, man. I hope so too. Let's, let's see what happens. But it would, be, it would really be great if it did come out this year. Yeah, Tom. So just shout out Cav on your social media pages, uh, Cav underscore Africa. Uh, make sure you follow Touchline. Make sure that you buy his music. Don't pirate it. Buy the music. Support the G. He's an indie artist. And we appreciate everybody that's tuning in, loving our post at Cover Africa. I mean, we're a platform for creatives and we're pushing young creatives in spaces. So what do you have to say before you go, uh, Touchline? Everybody just keep safe, man. Keep safe. Stay dreaming because, you know, you, we, we cannot live in fear, you know. Um, everything is happening the way it's happening. But I think it's a lesson for all of us. I don't know what the lesson is, but I'm sure everybody's getting something out of it, you know, individually. And we need to be able to conquer first individually and then as a nation and then as, a, as, as the globe, you know, as a whole. That's so true. everybody just needs to play their part, man. And with playing their part, just continue dreaming, man, I think. Because life is still going to carry on. So just keep on dreaming. 100%. My boy, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I love you. Hope to see you soon after the lockdown. And let's shoot more music, shoot more content. Let's tour the country, quantum tour. I'll be a backseat, ne? the right window. You know, almost. <laughs> you know how it is, bro. Thank you so much. I appreciate you, Machi. And great talking to you. Thank you for the platform. Thank you for allowing me to, you know, once again be, be able to speak to the masses. And you created the platform. So I appreciate that, bro. 100%. Cheers, my boy. I'll wait and try out. It's what the shawty wants. I don't need an omnibus to say I've seen it more than once. One hand holds a grudge. One hand holds a gun. That's why we haven't held a conversation with our garden money.